Yeah, I don't like the word morality, but um, you know, I'll use ethical. Um, productive, efficient, sensible, logical. It's got to be logical to recognize that you're... If, if you had ten rabbits, you wouldn't sit there and play some stupid game and say, well, this rabbit's better than the rest of the rabbits, I'm going to make it happier. The same thing is true of our humanity. Our humanity is a fact of all of us. We all have it, unless somebody's got no brain or something, then you can put them in a different category. But I'm just saying, if you're basically functioning as a human being, I'm in the same game as you then. And, and my... The thing that matters to me is my comfort, and it's just as important as your comfort. And I just can't, there's no way to logically evade that simple truth. And that's what our brain should be working for, is comfort and how to maximize it, and not an individual's comfort. It's obviously sensible to figure out a way to run the maze, doing the least amount of damage to your fellow maze runners and to take the less hits yourself and all of that. Yeah, so the idea is to, to create the least harm. But if we're going to play the game by saying it's okay for me to, to use other people as shoes, <laughs> you know, and then use other people as a sword, use other people as, you know, whenever I need, I'm just going to pick up another person and use them for my convenience, it's, it's logically impossible. It just you, you can't make that make any logical sense without inventing some lie about how you're somehow better or different or superhuman. You're not looking through the filter of impact on the world. If, if that's not the filter that you're looking through when you're gaining your satisfaction, you have no chance in hell of acquiring it ethically. Feel good for the right reasons. I, I mean, is, is it possible to feel good only as a concession to your need? You just say, well, I have to feel good sometimes because if I sit here and cry all day, I can't exist. I can't exist miserable, right? Miserable is going to kill me. So I have to make a concession to the fact that I need food. Let's say food actually, like there was a direct relationship between every calorie you ate and something suffering. You'd have to measure that balance. But there'd be a concession to say, okay, well, I'm here. My life has been invested in. This place is completely broken. It needs huge changes and fixes to be functional. So what should I do with myself? Should I stay here and try to fix it? Or shall I just say, I can't play this game because it's impossible to play it ethically? Well, I think the obvious answer is, is that you might have more potential to fix it. There might be more value in your potential fix than there is to jump off the ship and just say, I'm not going to try to plug the holes. I'd say the biggest part of the struggle is to just recognize that that's part of the structure of the game and that you're going to have to change the game if you're going to change the result. You can't keep just pretending, you know, the world just keeps recreating that a next generation that also doesn't build a proper nest. You know, that is also mortgaging the future and is playing games with the welfare of others. So, I mean, you're going to have to admit that you're going to have to create a better kind of human being, and no one's willing to do that. Nobody, Nobody's willing to basically make children miserable to make them into the kind of human being you need to be. You, you have to work with other people to accomplish something. You don't build a Hoover Dam by yourself. You build it with another collective of individuals. But I don't have to team at all. I don't have to wear the same colors, I don't have to wave the same flag, I don't have to even have the same purpose in mind. All I have to do is be organized to get the job done. The goal is the accomplishment. The goal is the thing to be valued. The fact that you have to be a team to get there, that, that's an unfortunate circumstance, nothing to spiritualize. I guess the whole point I'm almost arguing is that people have to get a lot smarter and have to figure out that psychology is crap and that you don't want to be a leader or a follower. You know, that you want to do things because you understand they need to be done, and then you want to do them in an organized fashion so you'll accept rules about how you'll be organized and how you'll function. So it's like I said, it's like playing a game. All the sports games we have have umpires and rules to create fairness. And that's all you want. You want to create a system of fairness where you have your chance to make the argument that, well, maybe I should be doing this instead of that. And if you can't make the argument effectively, well, then you're stuck with your job. Uh, you know, you're the goalie or whatever, like it or not. So I'm just saying intelligence imposes the obligation to change your behavior because the nature is intrinsically, intrinsically wasteful.